I was just seeing what you came up with. Oh, why did you? Did you think because of Batman yeah. or something I would be able to come up with a joke about Dr. Wayne? Yeah. Commander, uh, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. You're right, because yeah, Batman's dad Batman was a doctor. From Alliance Command. We've Man, I can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> Um, oh wow! Okay, I am upset with myself now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, we'll watch reboot later. You'll feel better. Um, how can I help? What do you need, Admiral? There's an alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers! What? Okay, so because the first one didn't work, they thought they'd just release a whole new one and expect people to pay again. No, the same thing. No, that's not what I'm doing. That's not why I'm doing this. They're talking to me. About the side quest I just tried to do. They hadn't given it to me yet. Oh. Uh, ho, ho, ho. And I went to the system to do the, the other side quest, and now, fuck. So, was anyone hurt? How many casualties so far? 17 Marines were killed in the simulation exercises before we realized what had happened. That's when we contacted you. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware, and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI core and manually disable it. I'm on it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectres answer the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. The VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. We're okay. all counting on you. All right, we're going to not do this right now. We're going to go do that instead. Okay. And that is going to be right there. Local cluster. There we are. Yeah. This is an important mission to do as soon as you get it, but it's a little difficult. Just a little bit. Um, just a little bit. So just we're gonna go bit. to Luna and land on the moon. You're taking the C5 corridor 30,000 miles all the way to the airless, lifeless, waterless moon! This is a fun one. This one, um... It is, it is all combat and looks, but it's a really fun combat mission. So, um, we're gonna, just gonna, we're gonna have fun with it. I'm gonna have to save often, because otherwise I'm probably gonna die a lot. Damn! When did I get this thing? Holy shit! I got a Tsunami 10! <laughs> Damn. Five. Five, yeah. Um, alright, toxic damage. We don't need toxic damage for this. We need, um... 10% shield bypass, that's pretty good. Incinerary rounds. I think I want to take incinerary rounds. I want to do the best I possibly can with that. Um, connect stabilizer, rail extension. Let's do combat scanner. All right. All right, I'm good. I've got a new weapon. Um, Map, debris. I don't really care about the debris, but I'll, I'll go check it out anyway, just because. Just because I, I just want to get it while I'm here. It's an extra bit of experience, so why not? So we're on the moon. We're on the moon. Yep. We're going to be doing very two very special uh, side quests, actually, next. We're going to do this mission, and I think uh, we could probably do the um, DLC, and then we could call it. That'd be a good... Okay. That'd be a good bit. Take a break. And, uh, take a break for a bit. I like that this isn't exciting. What? A moon mission. Because normally it'd be like, we're taking a mission to the moon, that's awesome. But we've just been around the entire galaxy. We've been on planets all over the place. We've been on the Citadel, which is a city in space. And now we go to Earth's moon, which at one time was, like, the place that we use as a benchmark for our ability to explore outer space. And now it's just this bland, gray landscape the CCCP Luna 23. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Um, all right. Let me see if I can... Barely got that, but 
Let's see, what does tungsten rounds do? That's a level that's a level ten upgrade. Um Yes, I needed that. Fuck. We're all we're gonna be fighting nothing but drones up here. Okay. Um so I really needed tungsten rounds, actually. I was hoping that I had at least one of those upgrades, and it turned out I just happened to get the best one possible from that drone, so I'm glad I went and did that. This is a pretty picture, though. Yeah. Let me tell you. Seeing that big blue ball in the sky. It, it, this mission really uh, makes you feel like, wow, this is what we could be ca capable of. Mm -hmm. We could someday drive around a tank on the moon. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Well, humans have. We haven't, but humans have. Yeah. I mean, like, well, driving around a tank on the moon, fighting off a rogue AI. Would be cool. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now it gets fun. I'm glad you're excited, Tally. Now that we're attacking computer programs, Tally's all excited. Tally's just like, woohoo! Dream of her people. Tally's like, let me show you the song of my people. Man, we're doing shit tons of damage to these things. Wow! Jump! Might as well jump! Did you drive across the moon? Did you take it to the Milky Way and see the VIs are hating and you're blowing them away? Yeah, tell me. Did you can tell me? I'm you sorry. Cannot <laughs> exit the Mako. All right, let's see. Uh, Liara, she needs a better pistol, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna give her a stabilizer and um, some. Center rounds. That's good for her. Tally's aura. She's got some stuff. How's her Omni tool holding up? That's pretty good, I think. How's her amp holding up? Oh, we can get her a better amp. Get her a way better amp. Shit. Her amp she was using was the number one version of that. I hadn't upgraded it in forever. I'm I'm the worst the worst commander for doling out uh, gear for my fellow squad mates. Um, okay. I think put two more points in this. Liara needs... Oh, we can get Singularity Advanced. That's amazing. Um, and Tally, we can get... Tally, 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 Tally. She has Advanced AI Hacking. That's pretty good for her. We almost need to start putting points in her pistol skill so she can actually use pistols mm. pretty well. But, um, Tally tends to die the most. So we're yeah. gonna put Tally up to having Master Shield boost, and make her really durable. And then now that she has that, we're gonna put points in her other stuff. And Liara, I think we are going to jack up her first aid all the way after we get stasis to advanced. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. All right. You got to remind me on this one. I need to quick save like really often because okay. this you'll see why, but this this gets really hairy really quickly. I'm glad we just got a new uh, assault rifle. The AIs can grow hair now? The replicants. Which ones are real? What in the world are you talking about? Blade Runner. I never saw that. Oh. Did you read the book? Well, probably not. Did you read the book it was based on? I have no idea what... Do androids dream of electric sheep? Um, I don't think so. Good book. It's not ringing a bell. Um, you definitely would have remembered the story if you'd read it. It's basically, in the near future, humans have actually created artificial intelligence, and we've dressed it up to look indistinguishable from a human. And the basis of the book is all about... Um, uh, AIs, AIs have gotten so realistic that even the AIs don't know if they're AIs. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Back up! Back up! Back this up! This is back the up. exact same level we were playing before, except now it's Geth. It's not Geth. 
they're they're drones. All oh, of them drones. are drones. Right. Sorry. I, sorry. They all look the same. I I apologize. Yeah. I apologize. Um, all synthetic life looks the same to me. I'm racist. <laughs> Not in so many words. Um, this, they're these drones. The tripods. That's that's pretty cute, actually. Yeah, they're really cute. Um, until they start shooting freaking rockets at us. <laughs> These drones will kill you quickly if you don't have um, a white health bar when you run up to them. Wow. God, God, God. Okay, back off for a second. We're doing this very well. Me having all these upgrades is really is really helping. Okay. Clear. Uh, thank you. Okay. Let's go in here. Shepard, that was completely stupid of you to... Okay, you do it again. <laughs> okay. Alright, now we gotta kill all these conduits. And... Toxic gas is being vented into the bunkers. Yep. That happens. Because they... The... Computer's very not happy with us doing this. That reminds me, I need to actually step back and not shoot these things in the face. That's the last Phew. Luckily, I think everyone in our party... Let me make sure. Let me, let me double check this, because I don't want to be wrong about it. Let's go to our armor upgrades. Um... I don't need it, but everyone else in the party does. Liara, do you have a medical interface on your armor? Yes, you do. You can get a better one, though. Okay. So I'll equip her with that. Tally has... Can you get a medical interface that's better than the one you've got? Fuck. I don't think so. I don't think so. That sucks for you, Tally. I'm sorry. I need to get you a better one. Okay. Whatever. Alright. Because if they've got health regeneration, it'll fight the effects of this uh, toxin that's pouring into the room. Because that toxin is poison. So it's slowly killing us. I've been on this mission before and actually been killed by this part because I didn't have health regen on my on mm. all my dudes and it really made me mad. I was like, I can't believe I was stupid and not paying attention to my health bars on this part. Can't you just Can't you just equip gas masks? Uh, no. I I guess it's a kind of toxin that just kind of is too. It's it it's too good to be filtered or something. Mm. I don't know the lore reason why you can't just put gas mask on. It's because we didn't think to bring gas mask. I mean, it's God, it's future space toxin. For serious, Tally's got so many shields though. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Let me decipher this thing. She's got more shields than Michael Chiklis. Cool. Alright. Okay, so we need to do that to two more rooms. And then we'll be done with this one. Luckily, it doesn't respawn these freaking turrets outside on us. Because these turrets are a pain in the ass to kill. Okay, next room. See, now Shepard's got her helmet on. Yeah. I didn't change anything to do that. Yeah. So Shepard's maybe, maybe Shepard's like, yeah, I'm bringing the, the rebreather with me this time. Screw that happening again. <laughs> Powering up. Die, bitches! Oh god, over here. <laughs> Back up. Let's hit four, let's hit two, let's go back into combat and hit this button. Well, you're sure showing the wall what's for. Yeah, I was doing a really good job with my accuracy there. Okay. 
Sweet. That was a power junction. All clear. What's its function? Uh, exploding and doing damage. And also, um, I didn't watch enough of those cartoons when I was in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. I was worried I'd have to explain that one. No, I got it. I remember the one about the bill on Capitol Hill. That's that's the most popular one. Kinetic barrier fields powering up throughout the bunker complex. Oh, this is a funny one. Oh no, what do we do? It's a barrier. Hmm. You shoot around it. It's not even... Your, it doesn't even Your do hexagons it. have very little effect. Against the power of our strafing. Think we got him, Commander. Y'all ain't got wow, shit the on this. Wow, aren't even that strong. Oh god, it's hexagon covering the exit. The hexagons are attacking. Hexagons everywhere. Hexagons right. Oh, ah, ah. No, that doesn't hurt you, does it? No, no. This VI is lame. It kind of is. Tripods and hexagons. It's like we're. I feel so intimidated. It's like we're trapped in an episode of reboot. <laughs> you know, I was actually going to talk about reboot for a bit once we got to a point where we really weren't doing anything super like interesting, and this is probably a really good time. Hey, uh, just before we do that, I want to say in to everybody on YouTube. If you talk about reboot in the comments, just keep in mind that, um, well, actually, by the time this airs, we'll probably have seen most of the series. I'm pretty sure I'll have seen all the series by the time this airs, because I'm not going to even edit this, these videos until I get to California. Oh, okay. By the, okay. So... By the time you see these videos, uh, Rec will have seen all of reboot, so. It's fine. Don't worry about spoilers, whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm watching reboot right now with Cobalt and... I'm living viscer I'm living vicariously through him to relive my first time watching it years and years ago. It's been fantastic for both of us. Jeff was really like down on the first season last night, and I was like, it wasn't that bad, dude. Well, he's an he's a he's a critic. He's a very he's very critical about you know. Well, you know, I'm critical, like but I'm positive, I guess, too much. You know, that'd probably I make me a really bad reviewer. Honestly, if I went into the review re into reviewing games. I would be really... I don't think people would want to listen to me because I'm not like the angry video game nerd, which is kind of like the popular thing to be nowadays. Well, I think I think there's a lot of people that... No, I don't think... I know there's a lot of people that want to hear actual, like, objective... Subjective reviews from a, you know, intelligent and critical standpoint where you dissect the game for its flaws without resorting to juvenile stuff. Don't get me wrong. I love AVGN. But it does seem like he's, you know, he's inadvertently spawned a whole bunch of reviewers that think that in order to get, like, the popularity, they have to just make tons of, like, um, you know, toilet humor and just lots of obscene jokes for no good reason other than to make their audience, you know, laugh or whatever. Yeah. You Even though he his reviews are very good about, like, criticizing the serious flaws of the game, you know... I don't know, you and I have this, um, we both come at games from a more, from a, from a personal perspective, and every review is subjective, that's what reviews are, but, uh, from a, from a, from a personal standpoint, you and I have particular things we want to get emotionally out of games, mm -hmm. and our reviews are usually based around our expectations, either not being met or being, or being subverted or exceeded, and how we feel about that. It isn't just about the mechanics of the game, it isn't just about the quality of the picture or voice acting or story. We, or gameplay itself, we also talk about how we feel, what kind of game is it that we want to play versus the game that we ended up playing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately we can't talk about this here, but I think that the best example is how you and I both looked at Mass Effect 3. I just spit, like, across the room. We can sort of talk about it. I mean, it's no secret that we're playing through all of these games as a sort of nostalgia trip. And probably the people watching this um, playthrough have already played through the series. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just wanting to see, like, a different take on it. Yeah. But like, oh, shit. This is the rocket room, by the way. Oh. oh. 
Okay. Advanced deluxe assault drones. Yeah, all of these drones have rockets. Every single one of them. So Tally hacks one of them. And it makes things a lot easier because all of them start killing each other. But see how fast Tally just died? Yeah. Now I'm ready. Yeah. Um I'm There went Liara. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but uh you know, the way you and I <laughs> talk Fuck's sakes! I hate this room so much. It's funny though. It's a, it's a really funny area. Okay. Yeah, I know, Liar. You're probably gonna die really quick here. Oh Jesus! Ah! Shit! 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 Balls! Shit! Balls! Oh God! Leave! <laughs> give me a second. Just we got him, Commander. give me a second. <laughs> give me a second on this. Phew. Brave Sir Reckla ran away. <laughs> I needed it. I needed to run away. Does this mean they've respawned? Uh, no. Actually, well, you can good. run out of the room and, like, recuperate, and I think you run back in and they will not have respawned. Once they're dead, they're dead. Because there's now there's less of them in the room, as far as I can see. Alright. Attack this man. Liar's already dead again, by the way, in case you didn't notice. This this is truly horrific. This entire room is just a disaster. She leveled up though. I did. Oh god! Oh, oh god! Okay, okay, hit it, hit it, hit uh. it. Phew! <laughs> so the way you and I uh, talked about the third game. And like how it went, and especially the ending. Um, you know, we really picked it apart and we dissected it in a very like you know uh, analytical, scholarly manner. Yeah. Um, in we didn't... addition to talking about the mechanics of the game and you know its 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 surface qualities. We didn't get angry over it. We were very very like point by point about it. I did get a little angry when you told me how the original ending was without the extended stuff. I did get a little angry because that like. I probably would have been really ticked off. I forgot about this part. More drones. Great. Um, okay, they're not powering up in this room, so it's fine. Um, but, yeah, like, with the extended ending being what it was, and me knowing that the ending was going to be a little bit of a letdown, I didn't feel let down. I was, you know, mentally prepared for it to be a bit not to my expectations, and it wasn't to my expectations, because I was expecting, you know... Uh, boss battle and stuff like that. Um, but I don't mind what we got. And I liked it, and you liked it. Yeah. And we both felt satisfied choosing the paths we chose. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so that's the kind of thing I'd like to focus on if I were to review something. I'd like to talk about, you know, I'd like to have a dialogue about, you know, well, what does this mean to you? It's not just like, it's not just like, Oh, the, the the path branching is shit, and they don't follow up the they don't follow up the first game's thing with the second or third game's thing, and and this and that you know surface stuff. It's like, okay, I liked these particular aspects of the story for these reasons because I'm the type of personality that is very much attracted to this path or mm -hmm. this this um you know political decision or this emotional psychological connection to a character or to a race. And, you know, to have a conversation with other people who feel differently. And you and I had a very, very long discussion about how we, you know, we made different choices at the end. But we both feel satisfied in the choices that we made. Alright. Heads up display interprets it to a series of zeros and ones. Zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Okay. I really want to know what that says. class achieved. I really want to know what that says. Well, uh, we can do it, actually. Don't, don't click OK. Um, if you want, we can pause the recording and I can look that up. Okay, hang on. Because I think... We found out uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it's saying help. I mean, I, I thought it was fuck, actually, <laughs> for some stupid reason, but we looked it up. And because it you're help. an immature duty head. Yes. To think that they would put such an obscene word in this game. Fox News wouldn't stand for that. 
they would. Your specialization class will now replace your base class and the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen and blue, view the bonuses you gain with each rank your specialization class. Wow. Did yes. you just get this by hacking this AI, VI? You get this from doing this particular side quest. Okay. Huh. Um, every class has two specialties that they can go into. Uh, commando for the soldier increases damage with all weapons, imp improves immunity, marksman, assassination. Useless as fuck. Shock trooper is overpowered as balls. Increases health, increases damage protection, improves immunity or barrier, and improves in the adrenaline ability. Mm -hmm. We're taking we're taking st uh, shock trooper uh, okay. quite 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 definitely quite quite yes. Um, I want to see if uh, there's actually any. Yep, we can keep going down this, and um, eventually we'll get reduces the recharge time of immunity by twenty five percent. So we're definitely gonna put all of our points in the rest of this. I'm glad I started putting points in soldier. But that was the whole reason we did this. Now we are overpowered douchebags, and we can go oh, punch yeah. Thresher Moss to death. Cool. Safe. Sorry, what? Safe. Oh yeah. So, um, with that done, I think Jim wants food. So, yeah. <laughs> what's, uh, I'm gonna find my way out of this weren't, place. Weren't there drones powering up? Yeah, it blew them up. Oh, we, oh, right. They put them in the other room, basically. Okay. But, um, we'll come back to this in a bit and record more. Um, and hopefully get some more progress or something. But cool. we did, we did two really. Um, we did a really silly side quest, and we did uh, a side quest that basically made us god mode. So we are gods among men. Basically, are now being a shock trooper like uh, it, it, it? It makes the game like basically twice as easy as it was before. As opposed to stormtrooper, which makes the game four times as hard because you can't hit you can't hit anything. True. True.